This week, Sailing Starship sets off across the Bay of Biscay, encountering 35 knots of wind and 6 to 8 foot seas. We even manage to take on some water. First breakfast on the boat. Oh, amazing. Totally amazing. Tastes great. It is delicious. It is delicious. It's amazing. We have this bizarre foam that comes out of the lock every night. Three feet high and it's all this crazy foam. We're not really sure what it is, if it's like detergents or salts or what, but whoa, that was our first scrubbing. So today Kelly and I are trying to get the boat ready. It's, it's about a four or five day sail offshore. The weather's supposed to be killer, but we're dealing with a couple things. One being our propane tank. We've got a US based propane tank. The fitting here doesn't fit onto an EU filler, so we can't get our tanks filled. So we're gonna try to find an adapter along with just getting an empty boat stock for a five day sail. It should be awesome, we're stoked. So we finally left and we're on our way. The feeling you get when you first get out here, it's like anxiety and trying to calm down. And it is really cool. I'm just pacing all over the place, like back and forth on the boat. And um, yeah, just getting used to this is awesome. Ah, it's exciting. We've got some weather coming in. Got about 20 knots of apparent wind. And we're on a pretty typical beam reach. And right now we're going by their fishing grounds out here. And we're hoping to catch a tuna. We've got our rods out. And we're going the right speed. But we'll see. Tuna! So we woke up this morning and uh, the sun was just coming up and I was finishing up my shift. And I came down here and I was looking at the chart plotter and I look up and there was like a hundred gallon drum, big steel one, like sticking halfway out of the water. And I run to the back, but before I have time to get to the wheel, the drum perfectly goes in between the two hulls. And we've got this little thing in between our two hulls that keeps like the hull from like burping. And it missed that, and it goes perfectly in between the middle hull and the outward pontoon, and then shoom, right out the back of the boat. How does that happen? How are we that lucky? Getting a little bit towards sunset, and dinner time, so lots to look forward to. I'm making roasted potatoes and chicken with a nice salad. So much for sunset cocktails. First uh, open hatch and waterbed scenario. So that is our bed. Oh yeah. Just hours ago I was so peacefully resting in it and now it is outside. Oh my bed, why? With all the bumping around on the seas out here in the Bay of Biscay, well, basically, just enough space was open that one of the larger waves was able to open it the rest of the way and spill a substantial amount of water. I mean, look at that. I'm covered just from trying to deal with it. And um, yeah, the bed is now kind of a waterbed, which was not what we had intended. So tonight we'll be sleeping somewhere else. Anyway, quite an exciting start to our inaugural trip. Well, my first night shift is over. I did the three to six, but David was pretty tired, so I let him sleep a little longer and uh, pulled an extra hour or so. Also, because I wanted to see the sunrise for sunrise, which did not rise until now. And here we've got it. 
there's a sun back there rising and it is very beautiful. Off to a good start. Except for the bedding getting super soaked. That wasn't cool. Definitely ate up all of my rusting time. And so there it is over there. Hopefully today will be bright and sunny. We can get everything dried out, rinsed out, whatever it takes. You look tired. <laughs> My mattress has got soaked. Yeah, it's true. They did. Last night was pretty eventful. We left a hatch open and ended up getting a bunch of water in our cabin. So Kelly and I slept outside, inside. Um, it was blowing pretty rough last night, 25, 30 knots of wind, and the boat was flipping along at like, saw like 10 knots a couple times. And uh, just a tough night of sleep. Uh, but this morning's beautiful. Still have 15 to 20 knots of wind, it's laid down. And we're doing a little fishing. I've got two lines out, I've got my rod out on this side on the starboard side and then I've got a hand line out and the hand line got hit this morning. There are these large drops, like shelves. So there are several fishermen like where it dropped to like a thousand feet and then where it dropped from like, I don't know, to like two or three thousand feet. There was just a zillion boats out there. Um, I assume they're tuna fishing. Um, the hand line that we had out this morning got hit. So with the hand line, it's a monofilament then a bungee cord, like that's maybe 10 feet long. We're learning. Next week, we reach Bayona, Spain. Explore the seaside village and castle, meet up with friends, and set off for Porto in thick fog.